everyone, we're here in Benguet. I'm Michelle Gumabao and I'm representing Quezon City. We're here for the Miss Universe Philippines pageant. Congressman Eric Yap invited us here to Benguet to see the beauty, to see the culture, and to experience everything. It's actually my first time, Kong. Thank you so much for Welcome having me. Welcome in <laughs> So what, uh, what's our itinerary for today? Anong gagawin po natin? Uh, bali ngayon, dito tayo sa Itogon, uh, Alphaland uh, Country Homes, then mamaya. After na lunch, pupunta tayo sa Benguet State University. Ipapakita natin sa mga Miss Universe yung mga iba-ibang cultural dances ng Benguet. Meron kaming Ibaloy, meron kaming Kangkanai, at iba-iba pang tribes na mga dances nila. When it comes to products naman po, ano yung pinagmamalaki ng Benguet that we can, uh, we can share to everybody watching? Uh, ito yung secret eh. Halos lahat ng tinitinda sa Baguio galing Benguet. Yung gulay, yung Benguet be Baguio beans, galing Benguet, Tsaka yung coffee, strawberries. Tsaka coffee, masarap din dito. Yes, nandito na yung coffee na sa Atok, sa Kibungan, sa Kapangan, maraming coffee dito. And then lalong-lalo na yung mga gulay and then yung strawberries, lahat galing Benguet. And you'll be even surprised, pati yung walis na nakalagay sa Baguio, nakalagay Baguio City, galing Benguet. So grabe pala, no? there's really a distinction kasi minsan iniisip natin pag pumunta tayo ng Baguio, nakapunta na rin tayo ng Binget but there's so much more to see the beauty of Binget is also very untapped and ang dami pa talagang hindi nakakapunta ay nakaka-experience Yes, kaya nga yung goal natin dito bakit natin in-invite yung mga magagandang contestant na Miss Universe Philippines ay to promote Binget kasi one day, ang dream ko sa Binget is yung mga product namin like yung mga walis na lang eh hindi na Baguio City ang ilalagay nila kung hindi Benguet na. Kasi ngayon, hindi mabibenta pagka hindi Baguio City. So if we promote Benguet, dadating yung time na yung strawberry nakalagay na rin doon Benguet dahil sa Benguet talaga siya. Tsaka yung mga walis. When it comes to safety protocols naman, kung, uh, how, do you, how do you implement these safety protocols? Siyempre, if we're gonna invite people to come and visit Benguet, we want to ensure na safe and healthy sila. Yes, sa ngayon may COVID, uh, close kami for tourism. Kaya nga kung mapapansin, itong pageant na to, yung mga, mga Miss Universe, eh, walang tao na pwedeng manood, walang pwedeng makipag-picture-picture kasi uh, hindi pa talaga kami open for tourism. Gusto namin, once na nag-open kami for tourism, yung safety, na, safety protocols, eh, nandun na talaga. And isa pa, masyadong malaki yung province namin, kaya ang daming tao. And then sa Baguio kasi ngayon, nag-open na sila. Maliit lang kasi yung Baguio City. Eh. So kaya nila i-contain. Eh, sa amin kasi malaki, So, mahirap makontain. Kaya sa ngayon, uh, sa tulong nyo ng Miss Universe Philippines, eh, mapromote ang Benguet. Then, pag nag-open kami, mas maraming tao, mas maraming kababayan natin sa Pilipinas ang pupunta dito sa Benguet para makita yung iba't ibang attraction, iba't ibang ganda ng Benguet province. Thank you so much, Kong. Thank you for having all of us. We're here in Alpha Land. This is only our first stop. So, sana abangan nyo kung saan kami pupunta all throughout the day and uh, yung mga ipapromote namin ng mga products and places. Come visit Benguet when it's open and also help the industry and tourism to really recover despite COVID.
have already stored and so the plan is starting to bend. I know 
both be brought to you and this and information or an experience that you want to share in your politics and your readings. After you go back to the audience after the competition. Kita ko bro, kita ko.